It is Wednesday, August 27th, 2025. Thank you for being with me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Several areas we're watching for development, uh, but also watching some areas of heavier uh, downpours that are uh, out there. I want to track that. Uh, we have Juliet in the eastern Pacific, so we'll have a track on that for you all in this uh, video. Right here, that's the tropical wave moving by Jamaica right now. Scattered areas of rain, fair and on. Still a tropical storm. It is out there and keeping an eye on what's going on uh, near the uh, coast of of Africa. I'll show you that in just a moment, but scattered areas of rain still not seeing development for us in the Caribbean. As I mentioned, it's a low chance of development. Uh, that's what I've been mentioning the last uh, several days. Still the case, not seeing any signs of development whatsoever, but scattered areas of rain will continue to be on the move and some different spots will get them. Jamaica, Cayman Islands, Cuba, some spots really need some rain. We'll have a better chance than watching over toward Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua for a buildup of rain, even a couple showers that will squeak into Trinidad. We'll track all of that near Trinidad and Tobago uh, as we go forward. But watching these blobs, these new blobs coming off the coast of Africa. Now, what I'm seeing, though, in the environment, a lot of wind shear out here over the next uh, several days and some dry air. So as these tropical waves move off, I don't expect a ton of development. The first one, this one, should fall apart. The one back behind it, though, that's the one that may try to develop a little bit. So that's one we'll keep an eye on. Now, with that said, keep Keeping it in perspective, watching the environment, conditions are not conducive for development right now in the tropical Atlantic. That is some really good news to uh, pass along. You see different cycles during the hurricane season, sometimes uh, more conducive for development, sometimes less right now. It is less, but once this second tropical wave comes off, the ICON model is still showing that this is uh, trying to become a tropical depression or a tropical storm. None of the other models are showing that. With that said, the models do show that wave being pretty strong and kind of working its way off toward the west. So just an area we'll monitor for development. Here's the European model. Here's the coast of Africa, and this is showing the uh, possibility of a tropical depression, and you see how it's a very low chance. Uh, we're looking at some of these uh, more in the way of blue shadings 30, maybe 40% chance of a tropical depression uh, forming. So that's not even a tropical storm. This is the European model. So that'll be just an area to watch. We'll see how it does. But as I mentioned, even if there's some short-term development near the uh, Cabo Verde, Isla, uh, Verde Islands, uh, as this works its way through the Atlantic, there should be a hostile environment, which is good news, uh, where uh, it would not be conducive for development. There is fair non. And then just keeping an eye on some areas of rain, more so the eastern Pacific side where we'll see more development. I'll show you that in just a moment. Now here's the icon model. Here we are in the uh, Caribbean uh, and this is the one model that is showing a development. This here is by Friday. So we're looking a couple days from now. High pressure in control that will allow this tropical wave just to continue to move off toward the west. Cabo Verde, that's when we'll get some rain and storms by the time we get into Saturday, late Saturday and Sunday. Heads up Cabo Verde, heavier rain at the least, even if it doesn't develop uh, and it shouldn't be developed at that time but eventually as this passes Cabo Verde works its way off toward the west as we work our way into uh, Monday Tuesday getting into next week here we are in the Caribbean the uh, icon model showing some sort of system tropical storm or tropical depression out there. But again, this is the only model of the kind of major models that is showing some sort of development. Plus, there's going to be a front kind of a system up here coming off the east coast of the United States that may help to kind of grab whatever this is and kind of swing it back to the north. So it'll be something we will monitor together in the upcoming videos. As of now, I'm not yet seeing uh, Gabrielle out there. Farinan, that is still out there. The next name on the list is Gabrielle, then Umberto, Imelda, Jerry, Karen, Lorenzo, so as we work our way down the list. Now, here's a closer look, and then I want to show you up to the north, Canada, the U.S., and the eastern Pacific. Here's a closer look at the scattered areas of rain today with that tropical wave moving by Jamaica and the Cayman Islands. Eastern Cuba, Jamaica, Cayman Islands, Honduras, Nicaragua. Better chance of getting some rain. Could see some flooding in spots. And still tomorrow, some scattered areas of rain around parts of Costa Rica, Panama on the uh, Pacific side. We've had some heavier rain, so monitoring that flood potential. Belize 
is kind of hit or miss, Guatemala and El Salvador. As we work our way into the upcoming weekend, no signs of development as a whole, but watching out for spots of rain, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico will get a couple hit or miss showers and storms in the northern and kind of central uh, Bahamas. That's where we'll get a better chance of rain Friday into Saturday. Elsewhere, hit or miss showers, and occasionally we'll see some passing by Trinidad and Tobago. We're going to see a little moisture feed kind of just working in north of Guyana that could give us a chance of some spotty showers Friday, Saturday as we get back toward Trinidad, even over toward Grenada, we may get a couple. Now expanding out the view, there is Farinan. Uh, here is that front moving through the Atlantic region to Canada. There is Bermuda. That front may clip us by with some showers. There's the moisture feed in the U.S. coming out of Mexico. And then watching here, Juliet, but it is weakening. And then watch this moisture here in the central U.S. Plains diving down to the south. Plus once again, parts of Florida soggy. Some parts of Florida have been dry. Others so very wet. That continues back through parts of the northern Bahamas. Juliet falls apart. We'll see how much of this moisture kind of squeaks in. This here is tomorrow, Quebec into Ontario. Here comes that next front moving by. That allows this area to die by Arkansas, Mississippi. I was mentioning this yesterday, watching out for a severe weather threat right in here, giving you the heads up on that. Then as we work our way out into uh, Friday, this here is Friday, watching this moisture plume lifting up toward the Maritimes. North of Bermuda could get clipped by a couple showers, should stay off toward the east of uh, Cape Cod, and then scattered showers elsewhere. Then as we work our way into uh, Saturday, and you can see that moisture lifting up toward the Avalon uh, Peninsula. Spotty showers back through parts of uh, New England and over toward uh, New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. And then once again, as we work our way into the weekend, the southern United States getting active. It's been very active. The front's kind of uh, dying in this area. That allows some extra instability. More areas of rain and storms, Carolinas all the way south. Now, watching Fernand, uh, so you get back toward here's uh, New England, Cape Cod, Atlantic region of uh, Canada. This is Fernand, all on track to head toward uh, Europe as a windmaker, even a windmaker, uh, a windmaker and a rainmaker, I should say, as we work our way into parts of Europe as we get into the upcoming weekend. Here's the Baja here. Here's the Eastern Pacific. Now, as Juliet lifts to the north, it is going to weaken. It's falling apart because it encounters some cooler water. Some moisture may get tied in to try to work its way back toward the Baja and then back towards Southern California. So kind of watching that as we're seeing that kind of up and around pattern on the Eastern Pacific side. Now as far as the seas go, we'll have that chop in the Central and parts of the Western Caribbean. Nothing too terribly elevated. Gulf has been uh, pretty quiet as far as the seas go. Of course, with that said, those water temperatures continue to stay high or warm in some spots. This is all the way through Saturday. Now as far as the rain goes, you see those areas I was just talking about that will get Get more downpours. So you get over toward uh, South Florida, for example, three, four inches of rain, maybe a little bit higher over the next few days. Freeport, New Providence, watching that, Northern Bahamas, and then Cuba, because that tropical wave is sliding by, scattered areas of rain, even hit or miss as we get back toward the Yucatan Peninsula. I'll show you that in a moment. But in through here, we could get some spots over 75 millimeters of rain. Same thing, Cayman Islands and Jamaica. Jamaica, it's going to be tough because some of us need some rain. Some of us will get some downpours the next couple days, but once again, some of us will be dry. Let me know in the comments if you get some rain, put your location, or if you don't, put your location as well. Let me know what's going on or really not going on. Scattered areas of rain, St. Croix up toward uh, Anagata. We get back toward uh, St. Martin, St. Bart's kind of hit or miss, but we'll watch out for a few more showers squeaking into northeastern Venezuela, Grenada, and Trinidad and Tobago the next couple days. For the most part, uh, three-day rain total shouldn't really top 25 millimeters for the most part, but watching out for that over the next few central sections of Venezuela and Guyana. Even Suriname, a little uptick in some of the rain. Here's some of the heavier stuff getting over toward Panama, Pacific side, Costa Rica, watching out for those downpours, and here's some of that rain, parts of Nicaragua and Honduras. This will be on the heavy side. Watch Providencia, San Andres, uh, this over toward the Caribbean side, some totals over 100 millimeters of some rain. Watching that as well over toward El Salvador, scattered uh, Belize up toward uh, parts of Mexico. You get over toward Merida, some scattered areas of rain, Mexico City West. Here's that feed. Here's that feed with Juliet, uh, but again, that is going to be weakening. And here's that moisture diving down parts of Arkansas, Louisiana. Uh, as you get back toward Oklahoma, East Texas, better chance of getting some rain and a severe weather threat as we move forward and monitoring that uh, flooding. So Jamaica, we have a 60% chance of scattered areas of rain. Some of us get it, some of us don't, but it will be more active overall today. Could be a little bit of lightning. Be mindful of that. 
tomorrow we're looking at about a 50% chance. Same thing, staying active the next couple days with this tropical wave back through the Cayman Islands. Slight chance of a shower today, Trinidad and Tobago, but as I was showing you, Friday into Saturday, better chance of getting a couple scattered showers. 30 to 40% chance in Barbados, 30% chance back through uh, St. Lucia. Rain chance staying very isolated. And then we work our way back through Grenada by Friday and Saturday. The rain chance will bump up to about 50%. 30 to 40% chance, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Mainly dry today in Martinique, about a 40% chance tomorrow, and a 30 to 40% chance the next three days in Dominica. Isolated showers possible in Guadeloupe. Antigua, Barbuda, rain chance staying on the low side, not very high for us in the northeastern Caribbean, St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat. Rain chance just 20%, a 20% ch uh, chance today. Anguilla and St. Barts, very limited. St. Martin, Seba, and Stacia. Isolated thunderstorms as we work our way back through Puerto Rico. A couple of us had some heavier ones yesterday. U.S. and British Virgin Islands, a couple spotty showers may get a rumble of thunder as well. And then as we get back toward the Bahamas, as I mentioned, the northern Bahamas, that's where we have a better chance of rain. Backside of the tropical wave could give us a couple showers today. Turks and Caicos, 40 to 50% chance in the Dominican Republic, but where we get them, they could be on the heavy side, watching the runoff and the flood potential. Same thing in Haiti, where we get some of the rain, dangerous river crossings. Thank you for sharing that information. Belize, scattered areas of rain, especially tomorrow and Friday, 20 to 30% chance. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire, just a slight chance of a couple showers that will be be around. Rain chance a little higher in Guyana tomorrow and Friday and building some as well as we get back towards Suriname. Scattered areas of thunderstorms. Some could be quite strong. Western, Central, and Eastern Cuba the next few days. Of course, Costa Rica, Panama is highlighting that. The uh, flood threat, same thing, parts of Nicaragua, especially Eastern sections, and that moisture swinging up toward uh, Honduras with a higher chance of rain and monitoring some of that flood potential around Guatemala and El Salvador. In Mexico City, rain chance elevated at 60% over the next two days and starting to build some with that tropical wave that'll move by uh, Merida, Campeche, Cozumel, Cancun, scattered areas of rain and thunderstorms. 40 to 50% chance northern Colombia, 40 to 50% chance northern Venezuela, and with that front nearby and a couple nearby in Bermuda, we'll see that rain chance starting to get higher as we go through the end of the week. So tropical wave near Jamaica, scattered areas of rain and storms, and I'll monitor the coast of Africa for the possibility of some development as we get down the road. That's what we'll be highlighting together in some other upcoming videos. The next uh, name on the list is Gabrielle. So thank you for spreading this information with your community, your friends, family. Have a really good Wednesday ahead.